Yikes. Oh, no, thank you. I'm so, afraid of <sighs> Yeah, that would not be fun. No. All right, sorry. My allergies are on fire today, so I am sorry for the nasally performance you're about to get. You need me to do weather? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, Peter. I don't. Um, we have some good weather for this weekend, and I do want to re reiterate that that potential tropical cyclone is definitely not going to be headed our way whatsoever. We are clear from the tropics, at least for this week. And really, looking long term, there are no computer models that are suggesting anything headed our way. 70 degrees in Cape Coral right now, 73 in Gateway. We are looking noticeably warmer or feeling noticeably warmer than we were at this time yesterday. We are about five to even eight degrees warmer. What changed? What happen. Well, the dew point increased a little bit, so that's going to help moderate our temperatures going forward, specifically into the overnight hours. So our dew points are back into the 60s. We got a little treat into the 50s. That's what helped the past couple of temperatures to or morning temperatures to stay on the cooler side, well below average. Now it's not going to be warm, but we're done with that real crisp, refreshing feeling back to kind of average temperatures for this time of year, at least during the morning hours. Tomorrow morning we'll stay into the low 70s near 80 degrees by noon. It will be a quick warm up. And then as we head through the rest of the weekend and into next week, either side of 70 degrees for the morning temperatures, which is about what you would expect. We just got a nice little treat with that cold front coming on through for the past couple of days. What is going to stay are these winds didn't pop up, but we are going to have winds about 25 to 30 miles per hour possible, specifically tomorrow and then on Sunday as well. We could have those winds stick around into next week. All right, for tomorrow, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to have a strong wind out of the east northeast and what that can do over the weekend more so on Sunday is that we could have a few isolated showers kind of stream on by. But when we have a shower chance like this from the easterly winds, they're very light, they're very shallow, very quick and they're not severe or have any lightning with them. They're more just a nuisance for five, 10 minutes as they kind of swing on by and then we'll stay dry for the rest of the evening. So that's your rain chance for the weekend. The most noticeable and maybe the most impactful weather element for the weekend is going to be the winds, 20 to 25 miles per hour. Here's the other area that we've been tracking in the tropics for some time. That same cold front really is making this almost impossible to form. It's only about a 30% chance. So we could wake up tomorrow morning to Nadine making landfall in Belize by the afternoon. But again, it's not going to be impacting us. Someone asked me on social media, is there any way this could even travel off to the north? No, it's heading off to the west. We kind of have this high pressure just kind of keeping everything that's trying to occur in the tropics well to the south of us. So we're going to be free and clear of that. For tonight, 71 degrees. That's by first thing tomorrow morning. Then by tomorrow, we're at 85, which is still below average. Sunny and a mix of sun and clouds. That wind will stay until about Tuesday. And then we're pretty, we're looking pretty good. This is kind of dry season at its best. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, temperatures near 70, and no real solid rain chances headed our way anytime soon. That's your forecast.